Hello, K drama fans. Today we've got a fascinating topic for you. We're taking a look at those K dramas that may not have performed as well as expected in Korea, but went on to become massive hits internationally. It's a testament to the global appeal of Korean dramas. So here are the 10 K dramas that underperformed in Korea, but went on to make significant impact on audiences globally. Number one. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay became popular globally immediately during the show's airing in 2020. The pugnant, emotional, vulnerable, and unique storyline touched the hearts of every K drama fan all over the world, leading to an 8.6 IMDb rating. The series centered around Kim So Won playing Mugan Tae a psychiatric hospital employee, and So Ye Jin as Ko Mo Young, a children's book author and admittedly one of the strongest K-drama leads ever, and their individual struggles of trying to escape repetitive cycles of struggles and growing from them enough to pursue the life they really want for themselves. However, in South Korea, the series garnered a Abysmally low ratings, hitting a shocking 4.2. Can you imagine that? The main complaint seemed to be Kim Sung's acting, which seemed forced. However, the series hit it off in international waters, with people still keeping it relevant even after many years. Number 2 Uncontrollably Fond. Uncontrollably Fond follows two former lovers who meet up again later in life. Our male protagonist is a very successful actor, and our female protagonist is a documentary filmmaker. The two realize that they have both changed quite a bit since their young love relationship. The series had high expectations in Korea for its casting, Kim Mo Bin, and Bae Suzy, and viewership started off quite strong. Eventually, though, ratings fell flat with many Koreans. The show was still a huge success in Asia, becoming the most viewed K-drama on Yoko, a Chinese video hosting service. Number 3. Warang. This is an oldie but a goodie. Probably the most hyped show of its time because of its star-studded flower boy cast, which included Park Hae-shik, Park So-jo, Go Ara, Shines Mino, and BTS's V. Set in a traditional time, this show depicted the story of beautiful men training to guard a king in hiding. With its perfect cast and its light-hearted nature, the show guaranteed major views from international fans of all these famous actors. But it was different in South Korea because the visuals did not match up with the hype and the storyline. The dramatics of the show were overly pulled off and the sudden twists and use of background music did not sit well with local viewers. Too bad, but everyone still loves Warang! Number 4. Welcome to Waikiki Welcome to Waikiki was one of the bangers of 2018 with a whooping 8.2 IMDb rating. An engaging plot centered around three best friends and their search for funds to finance their movie project by partnering together to run a guest house business. This made for a humorous and entertaining watch with amazing performances from the cast. The South Korean fans, however, did not quite think so as the show was rated 1.7, making it one of the lowest rankings for a K-drama ever. Thankfully, even though the fans there had issues with the show's plot and content, which are evident by the low ratings, for international fans though, the drama remains one of the favorites to date due to its amazing execution of blending a feel-good story with a cynic sitcom plot. Number 5. Moon Lovers Scarlet Heart Ryu No foreign fan would ever think that this show would be unlike back home in South Korea. But it's true. Although it had lukewarm reception in Korea, this historical drama was incredibly popular in international markets, especially in Southeast Asia. The show follows Heso, played by IU, who goes back in time and gets 
entangled in love and politics of the era. This show is another example of the unpredictability of ratings, even with an exceptional cast, including Lee jong Gi, IU, Baek Hyun, and Kang han -woo. Scarlet Heart has become a guilty pleasure for fans from all over the world. People desperately wanted a second season, though that seems impossible because of the low ratings nationally. Viewership ratings fluctuated between 11% and 5%. Though it seems unjust, international fans will always jump in to defend the show. Number 6. True Beauty True Beauty is a famous show starring Mu Kei Young, Chae Wu, and Wang Gi Yu. It follows the story of Inju Kang, played by Mu Ka Young, who goes through a transformation through makeup to fit into her new school. This fun school life, warm hearted drama is exceedingly popular with international fans. This show also boosted Wang Gi Yo in the eyes of people, stimulating his career because of his performance. However, viewers in South Korea were not entirely fond of the show. It received an average rating of 4% as it did not really bring out a new idea in its plot. It got predictable in the end, and fans were also not happy that Wang Yi Yo gave them second lead syndrome. Number 7. Nevertheless Nevertheless was the 2021 TV show that was really hyped before its release for having Song Kang and Ha So Yi playing the lead. The show follows the complicated love story of Yo Nabi, played by Ha So Hee, the girl who loses trust in love, and Pak Jae Woo, played by Song Kang, a flirt, not looking for anything serious. Even though Nevertheless had a lot of international audiences enjoying the show and found the storyline endearing, it did not do too well in South Korea. This show received an overall rating of 2.2%. This was because fans lost the excitement of the show because of the plot. Additionally, the show also had an 18 plus rating for adult content according to cultural restraints, bringing its rating down further. Number 8. Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Jo The show is now considered a cult classic and has an IMDb rating of 8.5. International audiences all over the world just love the cute and humorous performance by Nam Jo Hyu and Lee Sung Kang. The unique heartwarming story of weightlifter Kim Bok Jo getting infatuated with a fitness doctor and trying to change her appearance and her childhood friend and swimmer helping her to pursue her dreams won hearts everywhere except South Korea as many fans found it unrealistic. The series has a domestic rating of 4.9. International fans though seem to cherish this series even now as much as they did during its airing, hailing it as one of the most perfect endings in K-drama history ever. Number 9. Doom at Your Servant One of 2021's most highly anticipated series was Doom at Your Service, following Do Kyung, a woman who struggles with the death of her parents and the intense pressure of her work as a novel editor. After being diagnosed with an illness, she finds herself wishing for everything in her life to disappear. Her request is met with by Doom, a not totally human man who arrives to help Do Kim. With major stars in the cast, including Park Bo Young and So -e Gu, everyone thought it was going to be a hit. But from the get go, Ratings were low at 4% and dropped off from there. At home, the plot failed to keep audiences interested, while abroad, viewers fell in love with the dynamic of the two protagonists and their insatiable chemistry. Number 10. Extraordinary You A rich high school kid with a heart condition that ensures she will not make it past her teenage years discovers that her life is actually just a supporting character in a web manga. Frustrated, Dao sets out to write her own story in the book as well as find true love. Folks abroad love the series for its zany plot and romance, while viewers in Korea weren't too impressed. Extraordinary Yu, however, propped up the career of actor Rowan, 
who is also a member of SF. But his viewership rating stayed below 5% for the entire series run. So sad. There you have it, folks. 10K drummers that may not have hit it big in Korea but conquered hearts around the globe. It's a testament to the universal appeal of Korean dramas and the diverse taste of viewers worldwide. If you've enjoyed any of these dramas, share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more K-drama content. Until next time, happy drama watching!